Of the three institutions ordained of God, the home, the church, and the state, the home is the oldest. With God as its author, marriage is indeed honorable. Our Lord honored the institution of marriage by performing His very first miracle at a joyous wedding feast in Cana of Galilee. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 13, 4 that marriage is honorable in all. And so it must be understood that the kind of love which the Bible speaks is not a sentimental emotion that can pass away with time, but it is a commitment of the will that lasts for all eternity. I'm not too nervous now. Um, I know I will be here soon. I'm just, you know, ready to see Carly and uh, see how beautiful she's going to be. Please stand. I'm gonna love you for the rest of my life. Oh, I'll never let you go. Give me your hands and I will hold on tight to whatever comes and goes. I So Mr. McOrder, will you voice your approval of this marriage between your daughter Carly to DJ by placing her hands into the hands of DJ? And by the authority granted by God as the head of your family, do you now promise to support this marriage both in your prayers and in your actions? I will. And understanding the vow that you've just made, who gives this woman to marry this man? Her mother and I. Love you. Love you. Do you, DJ, in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses, I promise to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, this woman whose hands you now hold? And do you promise to be to her in all things a true and faithful husband, to cleave unto her and to her only as long as life shall last? Yes, I do. Do you, Carly, in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses, promise to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, this man whose hands you now hold, and do you promise to be to him and to him only as long as life shall last? I do. Father, we're most grateful and thankful again for the institution of marriage and Lord, for the symbolism that lies behind it. We thank you for the spiritual roles that you have outlined for us in your word. And Lord, I pray that you would just help DJ to be that spiritual leader you've called him to be. And Carly, that helpmate you've called her to be. I pray that their home would always be a lighthouse for the Lord Jesus. I pray that you would take this marriage and make it a marriage ministry, that you would use it to bring high honor and glory to your name. And that, Lord, these vows they've made to you and then to one another would indeed be lasting until one of them dies or you return. And that you would again use this home all for your honor and all for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.